Hello and good evening. On this occasion, we will be learning about plosives. Plosives are those consonant sounds described by the IPA in which the manner of articulation is plosive, hence the name. When describing consonants, the IPA describes them well by using two parameters place of articulation, meaning the place in the body where the consonant is produced, and manner of articulation. So, for example, the place of articulation of a bilabial plosive is the lips. So, for example, if I say I use both lips, hence the name bilabial. So, what does plosive mean? In each plosive consonant, uh, air is used coming from the lungs, and it is, and then the, the oral cavity is obstructed, followed by a sudden release of that obstruction, producing a characteristic explosive sound. So, each plosive consists of three phases. The first one is the approach phase. So, in the case of the, the bilabial plosive, P, the first phase is the approach in which the lips touch each other. The second phase is the hold phase in which pressure builds up with air from the lungs but the lips remain touching. You can't hear anything, that's how it works. And finally the release phase in which you hear the P. And that's why they're called plosives. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at most of the plosives described by the International Phonetic Alphabet. We will hear them and we will learn to recognize the symbols associated to each and every one of these sounds. For each of the seven points of articulation in which I will be demonstrating a plosive consonant, I will be first pronouncing a voiceless plosive, second a voiceless aspirated plosive, and third a voiced plosive. Enjoy! B, P, B. T, T, D. T, T, D. T. T, 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 D, K, K, G. Ka, ka, ne.